Okay, what we want to do here is find uh, the output J, an equation for J, in terms of A, B, and C. So here are inputs, here are outputs. We're looking for an expression J in terms of A, B, and C, which is the simplest logic expression for this. We're going to use a Carnell map for this, and one of the axes of this Carnell map is going to be A. The other axes, axis is going to be B and C. Then uh, we can label 0 and 1 for the possible values of A. And the possible values of B, C go like this. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, and 1, 0. So do notice that you have to have it in that particular order in order for a Carnell map to function properly. Now looking at this uh, output J, we see that it's 0, 1, 0, 1. And the way that you put those four into the Carnell map is like this, 0, 1, 0, 1. Look at the uh, last four right here. You see that it goes into the uh, table as 0, 1, 1, 1. Just to kind of focus on one here, if you look at that 0, you see it's um, 0 when A is 1 and B and C are off. A is 1, and B and C are off. So there's that term. So those 8 can be mapped into this 2 by 4 Carnell map. Then in order to figure out the simplest logic expression, and therefore the smallest uh, circuit for this particular um, truth table, what you can do is circle the largest number of groups of 1 you can. And, and in Carnell maps, you can circle groups of 2, 4, 8, and so forth, um, but not do any diagonals. And you can also have overlapping circles if it helps you end up with a uh, smaller circuit or a, a, uh, an equation with uh, fewer terms in it. So um, what you want to do in this uh, two by two group right here is notice that A changes as you go throughout these four cells. So it's not a factor in the first term. So there's going to be one term from that circle. There's going to be another term from this circle over here. So A is not a factor, not a term, not a uh, literal in this particular term. You notice that uh, B also changes as you go through these cells, uh, these cells. So C is the only one that remains the same going through these four, and it remains high, so we mark it as C rather than C not. Then uh, we put an or. For the next circle, we notice A remains high, so we put A, and B remains high, and C changes as you go through these terms right here, so it's not a factor in that term. So this is the simplest equation uh, that satisfies this truth table, so this would be the smallest circuit for that particular uh, term J.